Oh, welcome back to uh, Shogun Total War 2. It's uh, Fall of the Samurai and uh, Fedra and. Um, he oh, I was going to say Henman then. Flapping it. Blimey. Um, Fedra, Roger Fedra and Andy Murray are now one set each in the Wimbledon final. So it's all getting exciting. But I can only watch about the last couple of games in each set, so I thought, let's take a half hour break, which is why am I here doing this now? I'm also watching the weather outside because we keep getting these freak brainstorms. I'll be brief, but I promise you. And uh, I've got something outside that I've glued together and it needs, you know, sort of some fresh air to sort of dry off the glue. So, anyway, let's see what's happening here. Um, uh, so I remind myself of what I was doing last night or yesterday, whatever it was. Right, okay, I think I must be at the end of turn because they can't do anything. And, um, oh. Oh, that's... Ah, oh, right, okay, yeah. Um, I'd forgotten he'd appeared. It, it sort of depends what happens with him, doesn't it? Right, okay, sorry, I'm just sort of reminding myself. There's a bridge there. I wonder if that's where he's come from. He's come from Wadji, maybe. I don't, I don't know. Maybe that's where he's going to go back. Hmm. One possibility is to take troops around there and cut him off, isn't it, at the back? Hmm. I might have some spare here when they get there, but not for now. Uh, let's just go and have a look up here, because I've got my ships up here, and I, that I've just left. I don't think I'm doing anything with them at all, so... Um, I don't know, no threats, are there? I do look at this between videos, by the way. I just thought I'd have a look now while you're here. The Matsui bother me a bit, because uh, they're quite big, aren't they, on Navy at the moment, so... Um, right, nothing there, really. I think I might bring them out, though. That's probably a better idea, isn't it? If I get them out, say, to here. So at least we're covered. Uh, are we? Why didn't they come out? I don't know. Okay. Yeah, I... All I'm thinking, obviously, is that... It's equidistant, if you like, between here and here to go and reinforce places, isn't it? They'll get more movement. They'll just use some of their movement. So they'll go beyond there. They'll go to here, and they'll go to beyond, go to here, which will cover this sort of area here, isn't it? If anybody wants to go all the way around and attack me, that gives me plenty of time to sort something out, doesn't it, really? Um, and maybe move into action. So I don't know. And of course, I've got down the bottom here, where my troops are, where my ships are, sort of around here. They can always be brought up to there. Anyway, let's just end the turn and see what happens. Um... I don't think I'm going to need any more troops up there, am I, really? Do you know, I didn't check, and I can't remember, if there's anywhere that's becoming unsettled that I need to sort out. Hmm. Sendai. Uh, see, the Matsui are really bring, bringing some ships up, aren't they? And they're getting them really close to my land, but because they're not doing it with troops on, and because they're still my ally, I'm treating it as... Um, I was going to say an empty threat, really, but I'll, I'm treating it really as manoeuvres. When I went for the Sado, it was basically... I was doing a Belgrano, wasn't I, really? Sorry, you're in the exclusion zone. Uh, I know there's a debate about that, whether it was an exclusion zone, by the way, but... Um, but anyway, it, they considered that to be a significant threat and sank it. Sea trade route raided. Right, is that one that's miles away again? Ah! That's not too far away, is it? Ah, oh, that's Tozer. I'm not really interested in them. That, that's just the, the dying... I don't know, shots of a um, of a fallen clan, really, isn't it? I don't, I don't think I've got any worries about those. So, right, he's got a decent army in there. Let's um, continue to move in. Um, I would have thought he'd have bombed that place now into submission. I would have thought he'd have gone for there, but he doesn't seem to be going for the port, does he? On the other hand, that's red. I think that means it's an enemy trade, doesn't it? So, OK, let's have a crack at these, then. Ah, uh, Imperial Infantry, toes of right. He's got riflemen as well, I hadn't noticed that. Military Academy. OK, well, I'll stop him recruiting anyway, won't it? Let's just have a look in there, just to see if the port is damaged. It isn't, is it? And it's a military port. Mm. Oh, that's why I can't trade, of course. <laughs> it's a military port. Oh, dear me, do you know. Right, OK, let's bring these guys down. Oh, don't tell me I didn't set my... Yes, I did. I did set my alarm clock. My alarm clock? I did set my stopwatch this time. Right, OK, let's bring these guys down. I don't think there was anybody around here, was there, that might pose a threat? Um, I was looking forward to a battle over in the east over there, but nothing seems to have come of that. Come on, where are you? Right. Okay. Right, I'll just cancel the rest of their movement so they don't attempt to go round during the turn end or whatever. And where are we here? It really depends most on what he's done here, doesn't it? 
tell you what I'm going to do. Oh, I can't do. Damn. I was going to say I'll, I'll send a scouting group. Um, let's do it. Let's send sharpshooters as a scouting group. I just want to see what's there. I fully intend to go there anyway. It's just... Oh, look, there's nothing there. Nothing. So he's moved that... I don't believe he's got that army past me. He's moved that army back. Hasn't he? He must have done. Surely. Look at that. There is nothing there at all. Hmm. It's showing me all this area around here. And I think some of that is probably impassable anyway. I'm not too sure, though. Um, I'm thinking about going this way with a, a second army and only having a small army come this way because, oh, he's been hit as well. He's got nothing in there. He's gonna, what's he got? Is that, it's a fortress, isn't it? I'm not sure if the fortress is the best one or the poorest one. I forget how they work, you know, fortress and, well, it's only a large town, isn't it? So I suspect the fortress is the one before castle. I'm not too sure. Um, will it tell me? Let's have a look. Might tell me what he's going to get in there. I, c I can't imagine he's going to get more than about three units in there. Right, enables... Sorry, it requires a stronghold. Yeah, it's the one before castle. He's not hardly going to get anything, is he? So he gets spear levy, uh, levy infantry, and Kyoto police. I don't know why you get Kyoto police, but... Anyway, okay, he gets three units because of that. Oh, what's that? White tiger force. I don't understand that. Um, it should. Spawned garrisons units. Right. Recruitment capacity, five to repression. I don't know. Anyway, it's not a good one. That's the main thing. It's before Castle. Castle comes next. So he's only going to get a few units in there, isn't he? So I don't need much at all, really, to attack this place. Let's sort it out, then. So... Um, what shall I give them to take that? I'm not going to need my Gatling guns. We've already proved that's a bit of a waste of time, really. I've got one, two, I've got three Armstrong guns. They're just going to murder the place, aren't they? Uh, what have I got in here? I've got any Armstrong guns in here? I've got, no, just Gatling guns in there. I wonder if I send just a couple of Armstrongs down there. Yeah, one, two. Okay. Right. I know they can't move so far, or so fast, or whatever. Um, I'm not going to send any Gatlings, like I said. Um, I'll keep one Armstrong behind. Didn't have any in there, did I? Just a Gatling, I think, in there, wasn't it? Actually, it might be a Parrot, you know. No, it's a Gatling. Right, okay, plenty of horse in there. That's going to be... That's a really nice mobile army. Got some good guard infantry as well in there. Um, guard... What are these? These are Imperial Infantry. Right, so I've got Imperial Infantry Guard, I think I've got. Uh, those are what the others are. So, right, okay. Um, sharpshooters. I think I might need some in this army as well afterwards to take his fort, if I've got any. Haven't got any. Maybe I'll just rely on my Gatling guns, then, for the other attack. Okay, so... If I give them sharpshooters, to be truthful, you know, I didn't even use... I only used two sharpshooters last time. I didn't even get to use the third one. So let's only send one then. All right, so I have one in this force. These are going to be the ones that attack the, the fortress, of course. This, this place here, of course. Um, right, I need a general with them. Yep. I need... Um, I don't really need the infantry, but it's nice to have some with them, isn't it? You know, just to give them some support. So I'll put in... Um, I don't know, what should I give them? About six infantry. One. Um, two, three, four, five, six. Plus the general. I think that's going to be enough to take that, don't you? Yep. Come on. Sometime now, please. Very good. Right, now I know they're not going to be able to reach, but I think that is going to be enough to take it. If there's anything else behind here I haven't seen, that's not a problem. I'll just... Um, ah, now then. Now the interesting thing is now, if I advance with those that can... Re no, I know what I'm going to do first. There's a threat from these here. Now I don't think they, c they can get... See, that that's passable. 
Oh, that's passable. That is impassable. That'll be that river. See this river here? That's impassable. Okay, so anything that comes over here can't get round here. So they've got the enemy has to be around here somewhere. He obviously can't go there. That's coastline. So he's got to be around here somewhere. So I think we're safe down there. So let's get these moving then. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, that could be determining it as well. The number of troops. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. I've got an extra three. I might as well send three more over to join those others. Um. I don't need any more of those. What about a couple of horse? Got quite a lot of horse here, haven't I? Um, yeah. Okay. Um, one, two, three. No, I'm going to leave them without horse, which is a nuisance. No, it's not. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to give them two, and then send one horse over to join them. Okay, and the horse. This guy here. Ready for orders. Um, now, I'm thinking about moving those out of the way or going through. What's the best way? Is it going in there or going through? Let's try. Try going in with one. Okay, and then see if we can pull him out the other side and reach. Yeah, I think that's probably better. Okay. Right, so with a bit of luck now, all of this should come up to 20. Let's see if it does. Have I done my sums right? Yes, my lord. yes I have. Right, good. Uh, right, well we're going to go this way with these. Uh, it's going to take quite some time, but I'm hoping by moving those troops down there, I'll get a zone of control I have. Do you see that? Where nothing can get past me. So in other words, nothing is going to interfere with this attack here, is it? Um, I don't think. Nope. Right, well I think I might as well go in and take that now. I'll take it, you know, bring my guns on as reinforcements and do it that way. Um, these over here. Yes, my um, what am I doing? I've already moved them fully. <laughs> Oh dear, I think the turn end's gone as well. I know, and I've hit those troops as well in the town of Niso. I'll, I'll <laughs> just ignore that now. Right, okay, forget I just did that, folks. Right, okay, let's see if I can get these into a siege situation. If I take all of those in there, perhaps just leave the horse with the with the guns. Uh, that's probably the most sensible way to do it, isn't it? So I've got somebody watching over the guns for me. And we'll go in and take this from here. Come on. Please. Okay, time for a sip of tea while it's thinking about it. Right, and the reinforcements are there. Um, he's got a lot in there, hasn't he, for that? Five. And I don't know what that Sendai police were and all that stuff. I should have checked that more closely, shouldn't I? Right, okay, well, it's very much in our favour. It's going to be even more so in our favour, because I'm going to hit him with these Armstrong guns. Um, okay, fair enough. I haven't got. I've got sharpshooters as well to hit these at the walls. This is the only one really that's a bit of a problem um, because he'll be inside the fortress. I won't be able to reach him on the walls. But okay, a bit dull to watch. Hopefully, um, we'll have an exciting battle over here to watch afterwards soon. Maybe he'll come out and attack me. You never know. You look. Hey. Anyway, I'll show you the results, folks. And give me a chance to go and check on what's happening in the third set with the tennis as well, won't it? Well, I'm sure by the time this video goes out, you'll have all realised that uh, Andy Murray's lost. Um, it's a damn shame, actually, because um, uh, he gave a very, very sporting sort of final remark, I thought, really. Such a shame for the lad. But um, anyhow, um, I, it, I, he's been a bit more canny on this battle. He's been keeping things away from the walls. So I've lost some men. I moved all my men up close to the walls to fire at him because my sharpshooters had run out of ammunition. My guns couldn't get at him because he was standing back. So I just sent all my troops forward. And he hardly had any men left and he still managed to knock out a load there. So I've got up close. I don't know which ones he's going to go for. I have no idea. I'm going to rush through there. And I'm going to rush through here. Um, oops. Hang on. Yep. And I basically have no idea which way. In fact, I'm not going to rush through that. I'm going to stand there for a minute. So if he's going to let me get into position there... No, he isn't, is he? Huh. Okay, he's going to attack me, so we're going to charge. 
Okay, and I've got others. Oh, I don't know where they are now. I don't think I need them anyway. They're over here somewhere. <laughs> Never mind. Do I need those? I don't think I do. Going, going over the walls anyway. How are we doing? We should be easily beating those guys there. Are they walking or running? They should be running, really. Let's have them running through there. How are we doing? We've got 128, 127. We're losing, actually. We're not losing too badly. In other battles that I've done, when everything's been wavering within a fort, that's the end of the battle, so I don't quite understand what's gone wrong here. I think I'm just going to have to charge these through, because should I just get one shot in? hope they don't shoot too many of my own men. 120, 118. Wow, we're losing loads there. Um, maybe they're not on auto-fire or something, because they're not firing. Oh yeah, they are now. Right, okay, well let's go charging in now. And uh, make up the difference, because... Uh, I think it's not going to go our way if we carry on like that. Okay, how many have we lost there? Look at that, 105. I'm sure we went in there with about 150. Good grief. Right. Um. I can't even see any of those that are fighting. I saw some spears before, but I didn't see any men with them. Maybe they were just... I don't know what's happening. What on earth's gone on now? I heard somebody firing then. Is that my men over the walls? Are they firing? I don't want you firing, boys. Oh, end battle anyway. Right, okay, so I, th I thought I just might as well show that end. It's taken me hours. It's taken me the whole of the Wimbledon game. So basically what I've been doing is just, you know, chiving along the troops of the general and then getting them to fire and then um, ceasing their fire and then, you know, chiving them along with the general again when, when he's had his couple of minutes and going off and watching the tennis in the meantime. So it's taken several hours, that battle, really. And I've completely forgot what the campaign map looks like now. But, um, hmm. Uh, anyway. Hmm, that's going to take a while. But again, if I just say, OK, I'll bring you back in when it's finished, it, it'll just go immediately for some strange reason. Anyhow, I watched um, quite a lot of the game, really, a lot of the Wimbledon, Wimbledon game, and um, it looked to me as though um, Federer in the first set was throwing the game. It was really strange, actually. It was, I don't mean that he, was, uh, that he was throwing the game. It looked like he was, because... He just wasn't his usual self, and his, his backhand was extremely poor, and he was throwing a lot of very easy stuff in the middle of the court, you know, for, for Murray to pet, to punish, you know. So, I didn't quite understand what was going on there, but look at that, managed to lose 185 in that one. I don't normally do that, do I? Um, shall I have a look at them? Those are the overall results. I know what they were, because I was there in the battle, but just to give you some idea of how it all went. Um, we picked up some chevrons, I think, so that's got to be a good thing, isn't it? Oh, where are they? Yeah, just one chevron on, on, on that gun. The other one, for some reason, I, I don't know what it is about those kind of fortresses. They seem really, really high up and very, very low ground all the way around them. Um, yeah, peacefully occupy. Hey, that said minus three on that then. Did you see that? Ah, oh, of course, minus three until I've repaired things inside it, so... Right, okay. Um, repair all that stuff. Excellent. Now... Um, he can't move in. He couldn't get in before, so he's not going to get in now, is he? Nope. Okay, um, I think that was it, wasn't it? I think we'd already moved as far as we could there. I think? Yeah, we have, yeah. Okay, I, I think that was the only thing of this move, wasn't it, really? Um, I, I'm going to check these again <laughs> to you. It'll be seconds ago, and you think, you just check that. And I remember just before I went into that battle, I checked them a second time anyway, so I don't know why I'm doing it again. Um, it's just... I don't know, it's just something to do with making things and, you know, w once you start cutting things, you know, for, I don't know, anyway, it's a long story, but, but you know, it, it's worth spending time just thinking about things and just measuring things and doing it again and again and again before you actually do your final cuts, you know. I'm not, what, I'm, what I have forgotten, though, is if I've had a look around here, I think I saw some Matsui, they're the Matsui, aren't they? Um, I can't see any other threats around here. They're my decent ships there, of course. Um, nothing at all. So, all's pretty well. I probably checked it last time anyway, didn't I? But, um, never mind anyway. Okay, let's get on with it. 
Right. I'm still hoping for that battle, of course. Ah! Now he's gone backwards. <laughs> yeah, you've got no chance. No chance. You're all gonna die. Now who's that? Hmm. No troops on board? Ah, now they've got troops on board. What were they? Quite a distance away though. There are quite a few ships, aren't they? See, if somebody starts to approach with some with a really big fleet, I'm gonna bring the big boy around, you know, get him to help out. Hmm. Okay, no imminent threats by the look of it. Uh, just occurred to me when I said imminent then. Um, I, I said it like imminent, you know, somebody might think, what's an imminent? You know, in, in terms of a clan or whatever. You know, they might have thought I was mispronouncing one. So, sea trade raided, yeah, no surprise, sea trade route raided rather. What's that? I don't want that one, so I'll get something different. Um, is that my trade route? It's raided, look at that, that's Tozer. Oh, I'm just, I'm just going to murder that one. It's a wooden corvette. Right, so he's going, for a start. Nothing else around, is there? Not that I can see. Okay, so I've got a ship to take care of, but I want to do the. I want to make sure I've got the technology sorted out. I don't want that one. I wanted. Ah, yes, I want these now. I want the explosive. I don't really want the explosive shells, really. I suppose I want these now because I'm expecting um, ironclad type ships to come. One of the uh, mistakes that the AI makes, in my opinion, is it recruits too many ships. Well, not too many ships. Too many military um, armies or. Uh, navies or whatever, um, and it recruits them too early, so it ends up with a glut of troops and thinks it's already got a decent army. It doesn't then disband and grow a better army, or it doesn't hang on uh, until a time when it can recruit better troops. So it always ends up with poor quality troops amongst it, unless you kill some of them off. Um, anyway, that's technology researched, um, sea trade re raided It's just going to be a case of taking that one. Um, it's only one ship, so I think I'll just go in there and blow him out of the water. Um, and like I said, it's a wooden corvette, but before I do that, let's go and have a look over here. See what he's got in here. Um, it's these, isn't it? That's pretty big. Yeah. Okay. I've got my full 20 on here, though. They've got Gatling guns among them, as I remember. Yeah, two Gatling guns. And, of course, the Armstrongs. So, it's a pretty darn good fighting force, that, isn't it? Let's get those moving over in his direction. If nothing else, what it'll do is prevent him, like I said on, uh, you know, before I fought that battle, it'll prevent him from getting through to here, won't it? In fact, I might as well join those up too. Oh, I can't, can I? Uh, maybe it's good. I'm, I'm going to bring them up in support because they're no good there um, and they'll be better served around here because um, but they can back up an attack, can't they? So if, if eventually we, we end up arriving here, we've got some guns that we can bring up in support. I don't think I need all of these either, do I really? Seven there. Um, do I get another army? Bring it out, or what? There's a lot of men in there. Um, can they reach? Uh, where am I? Got the wrong ones. Right. Yeah, they can all join with those, can't they? So, um, do I make it another That's army and put a general with it? Or do I just have it supporting? I think we'll do the whole lot. But there is my telephone, and I know I'm going to have to answer that. So, just give me a tick. Oops, how do we end up here? That's what you'll be wondering, isn't it? Well, do you remember I said there was a ship that I wanted to whack? Well, I whacked it and gone back again up to there. So, I got 50 damage to two of my ships, and I'm not too worried about that at all. So, I thought I'd do that during the break. So, okay, overlooking here, I've got... Um, uh, where are we? If I can find it. Um, yeah, um, it's quite a... I, I knew something was going to happen, uh, so I had to sort of dash really when when the phone went and sort some things out so um i've got one or two different projects on the go at the moment so um it's a bit distracting but uh i knew i had to go for that one and get it sorted out so let's just get these in position then hey uh over to here and uh followed up by this other mega army here um just get those into position um My spirit hungers for blood. 
Okay. Um, right, okay. Don't want it to carry on with that. That's it. Okay, good. Um, and I think I'll just keep those in there in support so that they can, you know, sort of aid with this attack on here. And that's probably the best thing, isn't it? Oh, crikey, they're in a terrible mess, aren't they, in there? <laughs> um, right, okay. I don't expect they're going to want to come out and fight me, are they? But. Uh, okay. I think that's it, really. Um, might even be it for this video. What are we on now? 25 and a half minutes. I don't know if we've got time, really, to go forward to, to the next. Um, I think... Yeah, I think I'll just do the turn end. Um, on whatever that entails. And then finish the video at this point here. This is the one. Yep. Um, yeah, I, I, got, I got really distracted by that telephone call. There was the, I had to do some things and go somewhere and sort some things out, you know. So it's, it's sort of really sort of knocked me off balance. Really. Where is that? It's a distance away, isn't it? I seem to remember. You know, looking at that top map when they started to move, it seemed to be well over to the to the east somewhere. So right, I might have tipped my eye off the ball for the others though. Then, in other words, there might be some ships approaching me that I didn't see because I was looking at a little map there try and find out where those others were coming. They're called Sendai or something, aren't they? I'm not sure exactly what they're called, but... Who are they? Are they that, um... Um... Oh, blimey, what are they called? Those that declared war on me once. What's that? Irresistible Charmers. I don't... I don't want Geisha. They're just going to cost me money, and I don't want them. So, a bit of a waste of time, really. Right, well... I th I suspect he's going to run away from me, isn't he? Because I've got a big army. Um, that's what's most likely to happen. So I think what I'll do is I'll actually come to think of it. What would be the best thing, you know, would be to siege this place and get him to come out and attack me, or see if he does, rather than me attack him. He's got a large force inside there, hasn't he? I might as well move up to it anyway, because I'm going to do it. So, um, right. Okay, come on, hurry up. Come on. Crikey, that's taking forever. I, I need to find out sort of how many turns it is before surrender, really. I, I can't remember for each individual different type of fortress. Look at that. It's definitely not in my favour, that one, is it? Um, turns until surrender six. Will he bring an army out like to fight me? I doubt it. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen, nineteen, which means. I'm going to have to go in and fight him, aren't I, really? He's going to have a lot of troops packed into that building, isn't he? Whatever building that is. Um, okay, let's uh, continue siege. See, one of the things I was considering doing was um, um, taking that easily and then getting these men just onto this port here, because it'd be mine then, and then onto the ships. What's that? Uh, at peace. Right, okay. Hmm, no, it's looking like I'm going to have to back them up with soldiers from here, and As you command. it might end up a pretty Your big battle, command. that one. Well, we've got one, two, three. You've got three guns in there. Armstrong guns, that is. I've got four, and then the f five, in fact. Five Armstrong guns and the Parrot guns. Um, six guns in total. Um, might be able to shoot him on the walls as well, shoot out some of his troops with the... Um, uh, with these as well, you know, the, the, the sorry, this as well, the um, the Gatling guns, oh, no, I've got Gatling guns in here as well, um, pretty impressive force, and of course I've got the um, the naval bombardment, let's have a look, see what he's got, uh, construction, see what's in there, large tech, right, it's a citadel, ah, uh, okay, <sighs> I don't know, will he come out and fight me, will he have to, I'm, I'm not sure, he might, he might go bankrupt if he doesn't fight me, because he's got these large armies that he's going to have to pay for, isn't he? Um, hmm. I wonder how... I, th I wonder if he's still got that territory he has, hasn't he? Tozer. He's got that one up there. Um, no, sorry, it's not to there. He's called Tozer. Wait, what's the territory? Harima. Yeah, so it's not... Hmm. It's not a wedgie. There's another one above it there. In fact, what is that? Tozer. Oh, it's an army. Ah, so he's got a reinforcing army as well. So, as well as this one, there's this one up here as well. Oh, look at that. I could have stopped him getting through there, you know, by blocking that crossing. 
Um, I'm not sure there'll be time to do it now, but I'm just thinking I could take this place, using them as a, a bombardment aid, if you like, then move the ships around to block off that, um, uh, th th that I don't know what you call it, that crossing, really, I suppose is the best way to describe it, isn't it? Right, OK. Um, I think what I'll do is I'll just show the retreat of these, because they're just bound to retreat, yes, aren't they? Lord. Where's the road? Uh, is there a road? No, there isn't. Ready for orders. Okay. Without delay. Up to your service. On the move, sir. Ah, well they are struggling to catch up, aren't they? Your orders, my lord. Let's get him out of there then. Yeah, that was pretty predictable, wasn't it? Really. Uh, and they can't catch up. But it's a uh, pretty darn good full army, and I only want those for sieges anyway, so... Can I still reach it? No, I can't. Strike them down. Yeah. Okay, um, I think I'm going to leave it at that now. That's up to 31 minutes anyway. Um, I just... Wouldn't it have been nice to be able to reach them this turn? So good. Um, that's going to be a nice fight, isn't it? He's got some spears in there. He's got some horse in there. He's got some um, uh, imperial infantry. Some some of these um, red bear um, infantry and these as well. So he's got a nice mix, and he's even got a parrot gun in there. Well, a battery of parrot guns in there as well. So that's a nice little mix there. Um, I think what I'm going to have to do though is take this place because to tie my army up there for six turns is just stupid. Um, and I, I don't think he's going to come out and attack me because he just hasn't got a force that's big enough to take on two big armies. It's a nice force he's got there, but there's no way I think that's ever going to be enough to take me on, is it really? Especially when I've got the naval support as well. But anyway, okay. Thanks for watching, folks.